It's chilly again. It's cold. Oh, half five. Half five on Thursday. I'm supposed to be finished on Friday. Woke up by the nice spot. I've had four solid hours sleep there. I was having a strange dream to finish. And then my alarm went off. This nature sounds. But my gloves on. I had everything on. And everything wrapped around me so I couldn't get it out of my pocket. Oh, dear. Finally managed it. Still cold. But to be honest, three and a half hours of uninterrupted sleep without being woken up by a park ranger feels good. I'm getting closer. Well, but I set up at 7 a.m. today, Thursday. I'm aiming to be there for 7 p.m. tomorrow. Um, so it's 36 hours. In the days leading up to this, I, mean, I was averaging eight, eight or ten hours a day most days, um, except for my pit stop on Saturday. And, another pit stop in Glasgow but these pit stops only mean I've had to do more miles on the remaining 18 days it's not meant you know it's not made it much easier the body is flagging speaking of flagging flag gone more like so I'm stopping to refuel gonna have most of this Snickers Mars bar I've got a couple of bags of nuts cashews peanuts I just had some uh, salted peanuts mini eggs all glucosey stuff, apples. Ideally, I'd have loads of fruit, um, but it's a petrol station. Oh, well, good news, bad news. Good news is, I smashed the target of two grand. The original target was only one grand anyway. Bad news is, I've just checked the sat nav. Oh, I've got 200 miles to go, so I'm not gonna make it for Friday night. There's your nature. And indeed, not so much. Brand new Toyota, so to be fair. I don't know if the Yaris is a hybrid, but I don't care. Why am I even... I don't give a shit about... Actually, no, I'm going to contact Toyota and say, hey, can I borrow one of your hybrids to drive around the UK and play golf? Uh, but I should give them a ring, but then I could just pop in. No, I'm busy. This is not getting any easier. I was pretty tearful last night before setting off. But at least it was like a focused thing. I thought I've got 48 hours. I'll head out on the A38 to Bristol. Keep going to Taunton. No problem. I got about 10 miles short of Bristol. I thought I'll just rest my head for an hour or two. S slept in from one till five. Got up, it takes usually about an hour to sort of pack and get set off, even though there's not that much stuff, but you know, I've got to jump about and get warm and things. And then I was on the way into Bristol, and not, so it turns out rush hour starts more like seven or half seven. Well, everything feels like rush hour when you're on that bloody hand bike. So I turned right to try and avoid Bristol. And we went up round some countryside hills over some various bridges in and out of everywhere through Cheddar. There and we now are. I'm, oh, hello, yours? yes it is, yeah, yeah, sorry. Right. I'm there we are, Nate, do you want some sauces? Yeah. Oh, do you have any like horseradish or uh, tartar sauce? Yeah, I've got that, is that what you want? Yeah, yeah, please. Tartar sauce yeah. and horseradish, yeah. Oh, and some pepper, please, if that's all right. Pepper? Thanks. Point being, I'm in Western Supermare, it's half four, and I've had to do my daily rush hour stop. Because I just got caught on a three lane roundabout over a bridge that went over the M5. Um, even though there was a cycle lane leading up to it, now it's disappeared. New road layout. And then I've run out of cash. And we went down to seven quid. I wanted to get to Western Supermare to get to the bank because the machine had my card a couple of weeks ago in Fort Augustus. Um, but yeah, didn't make it there. So I'm going to have to go to Morrison's across the road, spend my last six quid on pretty much nuts and cheap energy drinks. <laughs> Even though I would never normally recommend them, but I've got to cycle through the night because that way I don't have the trauma of having to wake up 